Okay, so my series 8 cell has failed. Um, it's obviously because of all the skunk inside. You can see there's like a caking of gunk build up whatever it is um, as I was disassembling it and then you could see the, the different plates were all full of it even the rubber o-rings if I pull them off they also like caked with the stuff so I don't know what it is there's nothing wrong with the plates though I've checked them looks like they're all sort of burnt on the one side you can see but uh, this is after, I think it's 14 months that it's been in the bucky. I'm not doing such massive mileage anymore. But it's definitely doing something. I mean, if it zooms in. And maybe it can't zoom in properly at that distance. But you can see it. So anyway, so yeah, I'm disassembling this, disc, uh, this uh, fuel cell now. I think I'm going to convert it so it's like the other one so there's less bolts and screws because this one's got all the little where the positive and the minus is so it's a mission but the other one doesn't the other one I've just cut slots in and it's got normal legs that clip onto it so but yeah so this is a year down the line uh, maybe it's because I'm using 314 I don't know what the red color is from though it's very unusual you can see this one had started leaking as well uh, the one that broke off is here. There you can see it actually just sheared off. And it looks like it's from that red build-up. So I don't know what that red build-up, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Let's actually find out. Could be the Cubon that's failed. Uh, and maybe that's why this one is still perfect. Because this one I didn't use Cubon. This one I actually used um, Prattly Steel. But it does look like it's coming a little bit loose there as well. But anyway, so yeah, this is my Series 8 hydrogen fuel cell. After, four, I think it's about 14 months that it's been in the backy. It's actually failed. It's The one hole connector's just broken off. But as I said, I think it's because this one I used uh, Prattly uh, Q-Bond. And on the other one, you can see how that Q-Bond has actually started corroding. And on this one, I've used Pretley steel. So it looks like the Pretley steel weighs a lot less than the Q-Bond. Anyway, that's just for the